Madam Chair, Excellencies, Honorable Delegates, Representing Ethicas Foundation, we welcome the opportunity to share our views on this chapter. The preamble is an important part of the convention, as it defines, in general terms, the purposes and considerations that led the state parties to conclude the treaty. While there is no final and agreed text of the convention yet, we nevertheless would like to make the following suggestions. With regard to paragraph 10, we suggest modifying by adding in its second part a reference to the rule of law and to add the words respected and before protected. The sentence would then read as follows. Committed to, pro to promoting an open, secure, accessible and peaceful cyberspace for all, where the application of international law and the rule of law are promoted and fundamental freedoms and human rights are respected and protected. We've been discussing far-reaching investigation and surveillance powers here, and it's therefore of great importance to highlight the rule of law in the preamble as well. As for fundamental freedoms and human rights, under international human rights law, states are not obliged to respect them, not only <laughs> obliged to respect them, but also to actively protect them. We have mentioned in an earlier statement already that strong human rights provisions and safeguards in this convention do not aim to weaken its purpose to counter cybercrime. Right the opposite, they are an indispensable prerequisite in order for the future treaty to operate successfully, while at the same time upholding existing legal standards and not undermining trust in law enforcement operations. With regard to PP13, we welcome the explicit mention of the cooperation between states and civil society, as, well, as we are of the firm belief that cooperation is required in order to successfully implement the future convention and to fight cybercrime as a whole. However, we suggest inserting the words preventing and before the word combating, so that the first part of the sentence would read as follows recognizing also the need for cooperation between states and civil society, academia and private industry in preventing and combating, and then the sentence continues. This reflects the inclusion of civil society in the Convention's substantive uh, parts, such as, for example, in chapters 5 and 6. As concerns PP15, First of all, we suggest replacing the, word, the, the words mindful of at the beginning of the sentence with the word uh, acknowledging and deleting the reference to a balance that needs to be struck between human rights and law enforcement operations. In this regard, we suggest deleting this part of the sentence and replace it with, and I quote, that criminal prosecution takes place within the framework of, end of quote. We further suggest adding N fundamental freedoms after human rights, and we also support the deletion of the qualifier applicable before international and regional human rights conventions and treaties, as this would be misinterpreted um, as a limitation. So the first part of the sentence would read as follows: acknowledging uh, the criminal prosecution, uh, acknowledging that criminal prosecution takes place within the framework of human rights and fundamental freedoms, as enshrined in international and regional human rights uh, conventions and treaties. And then the sentence continues. End of quote. By inserting these modifications, state parties can clearly show commitment to international human rights and fundamental freedoms. In our view, this is yet another key sentence in the preamble towards upholding trust that law enforcement operations will not lower existing human rights standards and in order to foster cooperation between states and uh, civil society. Finally, as concerns PP16 on data protection, we support the views expressed by some last night that this is an essential sentence and join them in suggesting a significant strengthening given the potentially very intrusive and far-reaching investigation and surveillance tools in the hands of law, law enforcement authorities and the exchange of electronic evidence. More specifically, we suggest deleting the words mindful also of and instead insert the word um, acknowledging so that the first section of the sentence would read as follows, acknowledging the right to the protection of personal data. And then the sentence continues. Thank you, Madam Chair.